Hello there guys, today I'm going to be telling you what the top 10 best swords are in Blocks Fruits currently. Let's get straight in. At the number 10 place we have the pole second form. It's very easy to adapt to when you're first using it and it can be played with any fighting style as it has great stuns and high damage. Its cons are that it's a rather outdated sword and a skilled player hmm, who knows about it can easily counter it. It can also be bad in aerial PvP as its moves will be difficult to hit. But it's definitely recommended for beginners in PvP since it's very easy to use and is probably considered one of the easiest and most brain dead swords in the entire game. Its combos can be very powerful but they're often hard to hit but are very good when they are hit. Anyway, let's move down into number nine. Number nine, we have the Midnight Blade. It's an extremely powerful sword with its high damage, good stuns and good range. Its only cons are that its moves can be hard to hit and are easily countrickable. They're also often very glitchy for unknown reasons. Like that. That's just how glitchy it is. But if it is not glitchy, it's a very powerful sword. However, it's not recommended for players who are new to bounty hunting due to how difficult it is to use. Being considered a slightly skilled sword. Not a hugely skilled sword, but more skilled than a lot of other swords. It's very good for grinding as well. Now in the number 8 place we have the Cursed Jewel Katanas. These swords can be very powerful although they have fallen out of the current meta as of now. And they're no longer as good as some other top tier swords that deserve, uh, that deserve to be used more than that. Unfortunately, they have fallen far from how strong they used to be back when they were first released. In the number 8 place we have the Dark Blade. It's considered one of the most green dead swords in the game and it's very easy to use in PvP. Although... It doesn't really rely on combos, more just fast reaction time and its overall skill. Not to say it's hard to use, but it is harder than most other than some other swords. However, it has very high damage. The next sword in the number 7 place is the Rengoku. Its combos are very good and high damage. And it works both well in ground and aerial PvP. Making it one of the most efficient blades in the game uh, to fight with. Both of its moves are very fast casting and are overall extremely powerful. Now moving into the number 6 place. This is where uh, it might start to get a bit controversial. So for number 6 the sword is the Fox Lamp. With its great damage 
and high combo potential. Oh wait, no, this is number five, isn't it? Yeah. With its great damage and combo potential, this sword can become extremely efficient when used properly. However, it struggles to deal damage while not at a close range, which can be a big issue. As it can be countered by things like the buddy sword. For example, but that's its only really big issue. Every, it barely has any other issues and is considered a very powerful sword. However, it's very difficult to get, which can be a problem. Now into the number four spot, we have the true triple katanas. These are very efficient while comboing and are some of the most commonly used swords in the game currently. After they were updated in update 20, they had already been extremely powerful, but, but they've become far stronger. Um, and are even better than they were before. They're some of the greatest swords for comboing and for just dealing damage and spamming moves. They can be played with any stats, including gun. And they're, and they're probably some of the most brain dead swords in the game. They synergize well with almost any fighting style. However, Sanguine Art and God's Human Life always work the best. Now for the number three best sword, it's the Gravity Cane. The Gravity Cane is great for combos due to its stuns and its ability to pull in opponents. It's known as one of the greatest swords in the game currently because of how easy it can be used in combat. It's also very great for combos and it's probably like the easiest sword to combo with honestly. Like, I can't actually think of an easier sword to combo with except the top two. But anyway, at number two we have the Shark Anchor. This sword is known as it for being uh, basically a better CDK. Which is already an amazing sword. It has high range and really good damage. And I'll show off its range here. Yeah, you can just hit them from really far away. And um, its combo potential is very high despite it also being a quite a spammable sword. It works for any play style and uh, works with any fighting style in the game which is why it's considered the second best sword in the game. But anyway my personal pick for number one is the Dragon Trident. The Dragon Trident is just so OP like look at this. Um, its combos are extremely fast. And, deal, and although it does have low damage, it's got really low cooldowns like the Gravity K, and it's really easy to use. And it's like the easiest sword in the entire game to hit moves with. I mean, literally look at that. I can just aim over there and then still hit them. And a cool tip while you're using the X move. So it 
to do the maximum damage and still stun them is actually do it up in the air. It doesn't look like it, but it actually stuns them, which a lot of people don't know about. And this sword is the most dangerous in the game because of all of these things. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. So I hope we enjoyed it and bye.